working out good. There it is. There's our Spreaker channel on channel two uh, for Wednesday, April 6th, my friends. This is the late night podcast here. Uh, hopefully everything is uh, sounding better and looking good okay. Uh, hopefully, like I said, I, I kind of readjusted a little bit uh, here, so uh, hopefully everything's all right. So, listen, we're going to pray it right in. This is our second late night podcast here. I got a lot for you. Fear is screaming, my brothers and sisters. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right, let's get to uh, a couple of podcast notes there. I want to let our friends know on the groups and stuff. So, uh, amen. And um, All right, so I'll post it out and then go ahead and just uh, reset it later, redo the uh, information there. So before we even pray it in, because we're going to get to it, friends. Fear is screaming, and we're going to take a look at these notes here. Uh, amen. All right, well, let me see if I can't get to uh, at least hold their notes down here so I don't lose them again because I lost the other one. Uh, amen. Of course, my phone is not working. What's going on with that? So we are going to pray it in here, friends. Give me a minute and let me get to uh, the channels here. Just real quick, posting it out. Uh, I want to, I want to go ahead and just uh, throw another one out here because uh, we didn't get a chance to do it earlier. And not a whole lot. Just going to do a couple of quick ones here. Uh, amen. So we're having a Bible study. Let's dig in together, my brothers and sisters. Uh, amen. And let's see. Um, <laughs> there's so much i got to do here and try to remember. I'm like, uh, yeah, so much. But, uh, you know, I'm okay with that. So it is a bit of a challenge every podcast. Uh, so that definitely is for sure. Uh, amen. Because I don't, I don't want to lose anything here, uh, especially going live like that. So, uh, Amen. All right. Uh, let's bring out that scheduling, and let's see. I think we're okay here. I want to make sure everything's operating in the best. <laughs> you know, it in, in the best uh, here. Uh, so anyway, we're live on LinkedIn. We got Twitter going live here. Uh, amen, and so much more. Uh, you know, I've been missing trying to get on here on Mel, and haven't. I just grow tired and weary. I just don't get a chance to get on there uh, or get on here, actually. So I'm going to be setting up the full week's podcast all the way through. Uh, what do we got? Um, like I said, um, Monday through Sunday, it's supposed to be 3 o'clock. We're trying. I'm trying to get back on that track there. And then we got Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 o'clock, and again at, uh, where am I at here, about 10.30, uh, right here again uh, on Mellon. The first one's at Restream, second one, and the third one, the late night, or ten between 10 and 10.30, is actually the, uh, the ten, well, the Mellon. We're on Mellon, so, amen. Lots to, lots to do. Um, amen. All right, uh, let's see, I think we're going to, let's see, we're going to go ahead and just post this out. Uh, amen, amen. All right, well, I hope you guys had a great Sunday so far, or Sunday, uh-uh, it's Wednesday, just tricking you to see if, this, uh, wanted to see if you guys are awake here. <laughs> uh, amen. All right, so let's go ahead and just throw a few of them out for uh, tonight, and then uh, we're going to jump right into the Word. Glad to see you. Glad to be back. Uh, like I said, I've uh, been missing, uh, trying to get set and trying to get, uh, you know, trying to get live here uh, on uh, on Melon TV. Hadn't had a chance. It's been pretty hectic uh, scheduling. And we are in a massive uh, reset here. Well, not reset, but you know what I call uh, the renovation. So I got a chance to even get on there and, and try to, you know, uh, get in double, you know, the double podcast here. Um, Amen. Well, let's get to it. 
Uh, why not, my friends? All right. Well, like I said, let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. We've got a lot to cover. We're going into the book of Joel and uh, quite a bit more, but we're going to continue our, like, open right up into our series, Fear is Screaming, and we're declaring victory, my friends. Amen. All right. Uh, <laughs> I lost my clipboard. Or not my clipboard, but I lost my clip. Uh, I usually, uh, well, I guess I got one, but uh, I usually have uh, have it set up here. Uh, amen. All right, let's just pray it in. Brothers and sisters, church is open, doors are open, let's get going. We got our fresh cup of coffee. We got our Bibles. We're ready to go. We're hyped up for the Lord, my friends, tonight, my friends. So, amen. I think that looks okay. Uh, try not to mess with all the... You know, the, the camera and the microphone here, but uh, let's get rolling, friends. We got to get hyped. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's get it uh, going here, my friends. Live on Melon TV, we've got Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, uh, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, a whole lot more. Our friends at Tin Can, and of course, right there at Spreaker. And don't forget, you can catch these podcasts on all your uh, major uh, podcast channels. Now, I just got another offer uh, on email, and I'm not quite <laughs> sure. I don't remember what it was, but, uh, friends, uh, it's just amazing how many uh, doors and opportunities are opening up now. Uh, amen. I think it was... Um, well, better not guess because I, I don't know what it was. Uh, amen. So let's see. I, I don't know if it was on uh, what channel it was actually on. Um, let's see. But I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm actually, it's pretty uh, awesome opportunity. Uh, it's another podcast uh, catcher. I uh, think that's what they, they call it there. Uh, so let me see if I can't pull it up. Otherwise, what I'll do is I'll I'll just write it down, and then I'll mention that on the uh, upcoming podcast uh, tomorrow. Uh, and I'm, I actually am going to go back on and uh, go ahead and do a full uh, broadcast at Twitch right after this one. Uh, so I have to, you know, at least get in there at least for 35, 40 minutes there. Uh, amen. All right. So, yeah, I don't have it, uh, uh, you know, close by here. And I forgot to write it down. I just got real busy and didn't get a chance to actually write this down. Um, but I got an email on my, uh, the, the, you know, the official email, uh, address and the, uh, yeah, they, it's awesome, and so I got a great opportunity to uh, to get on there. And I think it was like, uh, boy, I even hate, <laughs> I don't even want to try to guess what it is uh, at all, because you know I, I want to make sure I give you the right one. But if I can't find it here before, because we are going to pray it in first, and then I'll go ahead and look it up. Um, just to make sure that I give you the information, I'm excited. Uh, you know, op all these opportunities are are definitely uh, um, you know opening up here for me. Uh, so I am uh, I'm real grateful for that. And let's see, of course, always humbled. So I uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, and again, if you guys hadn't got a chance, Monday's podcast. Hey, we were over. At uh, over at uh, well, with Pastor Anna, Church of God's Children, so that was awesome. So, there it is. Uh, it's called uh, Wisdom, friends, uh, the Wisdom Channel, and uh, it's going to be uh, available tonight. I mean, this morning, whenever I get a chance to get the, get the rest of the podcast uh, loaded up. So, it's called Wisdom. Uh, there's the, the email right there. And, uh, boy, is that going to be awesome. 
Amen. So there it is. That's the new channel. Uh, I've got to fill out some information for it and get the, you know, get the little technical uh, issues uh, resolved. But uh, amen. So I'll be posting that and I'll be adding that to the URLs uh, information there. But yeah, anyway, so Monday afternoon, uh, about 1 p.m., we uh, we had an interview and uh, had our friend come in there, Pastor Ina, uh, Church of God's Children. And on the last broadcast, I almost forgot what it was. I'm like, oh boy, I've been uh, I've been uh, chatting and talking uh, with them for a while, so that was really awesome. Um, amen. So. Uh, amen. All right, well, we're going to get into it. Let's get our Bibles. Make sure you got your Bibles with you, of course. Uh, amen. And uh, get a couple little things here. And let's see. All right. Uh, so don't forget, we got Apple and Spotify podcast links there, friends. You guys can jump on that. Right, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick here, of course. And all right, hey man, let's pray it in, friends. Come on in, let's get going. Uh, no time to waste here. All right, so wisdom podcast, friends. Don't forget verbal. I'm on verbal too, and more. It's a lot. <laughs> Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you again as I get this opportunity to share the word the, uh, tonight and this morning uh, as we go into our Thursday morning here. Thank you always uh, for everything, your blessings, the, the advancement in the, uh, you know, in the kingdom here. Uh, as I'm on my post, I'm on my, uh, on my mission that you've called me to. Um, you know, even though I struggle, you make, you just make a way, you make a path, uh, direct for me to go to. So I thank you for that. Uh, I want to pray for family, friends, everybody watching, hearing, uh, jumping in on these podcasts, uh, increase, uh, you know, increase, um, that and, uh, just, just bless them, Father God, as you always do. It's just amazing what you do and and just how much you do. And, well, I thank you and we thank you as well. Uh, it's just such a great opportunity, you know, uh, just, just awesome, Father God, as we lean on you and we trust in you. We give all our worries, our cares, our stresses, our strives, our anger, frustration, all that, Father God, we lay that at your feet. We lay the, the crown at your uh, at the cross there. And, uh, you know, we pick up our cross and, and we keep going. We keep moving. And, and I keep doing that uh, as well as I, uh, you know, as I share these messages, I share these, these scriptures uh, and, and be about your business, Father God. It is awesome. And I always thank you. And again, as I repeat almost every podcast, and I should be doing that more, your hand is on this mission, on this podcast. Um, you know, and the words that I use glorify you. And uh, I know sometimes I get sidetracked, but I, I, you know, you help me reel it in and you help me realize my position here. So thank you, Father God. Uh, and, uh, you know, as I, as I do this for the kingdom. So thank you, Father God, for everything you continue to provide. You have provided the blessings, everything, Father God. This is all for you, and I appreciate that. And uh, I just want to give it all to you, Father God. I thank you in your son's precious name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen this morning. All right, brothers and sisters, let's get going. What is going on uh, this morning? Oh, Marcia, friends. Uh, so, hey, uh, just a quick update from Wisdom Podcast there. Uh, you can catch him on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and, of course, YouTube. So check it out, Wisdom Podcast, and I'll get all the rest of this uh, I'll get all the rest of this uh, set up. Uh, there's a lot to it, a little bit, well, quite a bit more 
uh, actually, and uh, <laughs> it's not. This is not going to be an easy deal. But uh, I'll work on that uh, tonight, right after this podcast. I'll kind of take a break a little bit and uh, get this set up. So uh, it's going to be awesome. So wisdom, friends, wisdom podcast. And again, don't forget uh, verbal. Uh, you guys can catch all the latest podcasts, thousands of different podcasts in every category you could imagine. Uh, check it out. Uh, amen. All right. Don't forget to go on uh, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast. Um, podcast. <laughs> right there. <laughs> amen. Marcy, friends. Well, it's Pastor Rick here. Just about that midnight hour, brothers and sisters. We are here in church again had to get back on Melon. Been meaning to get there, and I haven't done it. I don't know why. I, I don't know what it was. But there was uh, something. I don't know. It was just, you know, tired or something. I don't know. I got that sleep spirit on me. And uh, I didn't want to get on there. I'm like, oh, do I got to? Yes, I do. I do got to. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, let's see what's happening. I pulled up that Wisdom Channel just for a quick, uh, you know, a quick uh, look here. Uh, amen. And I uh, want to make sure I got, uh, I can get on there. If not, I'm going to have to, you know, wait and I'll, I'll check it out later here. Um, amen. 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 A little bit here. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Mm -mm. Interesting. All right. So I will just hold off on there and uh, we're going to continue our podcast uh, again. Um, let me go ahead and get that. All right, so we got that going on. It's uh, yeah, I did want to actually, I did want to check real quick uh, on Twitter and LinkedIn, make sure the uh, podcast is going good over there. Uh, amen. Well, we're starting this at eleven thirty again. <laughs> I know I'm a little off there, but uh, I have to, uh, you know, got to do that. So. Otherwise, if I try to, you know, change the timing on there, it'll, it'll, you know, it, it kind of off, off, what, what's the word? I don't know. Help me out, friends. Amen. Help me. <laughs> Amen. So we are live right now, my friends, getting back on the Melon TV. Uh, great, uh, again, great channel. Uh, you guys can jump on there for about five bucks right now, so... Uh, they got a special going on, so that's pretty awesome. Um, amen. So, all right. So it looks like it's looking good here. Uh, amen. All right. So I got that pulled up, and uh, all right. So, amen. Lots to do, my friends. All right, so we're going to get right into our first series here again, kind of re uh, reopening up some uh, old scriptures and stuff that I did uh, years ago. Really uh, amazing and really awesome uh, Bible study series. So let's see, got that going on. I had to go to the tablet for uh, Anchor, so Anchor Cast Box, because the other one's kind of acting up. So anyway. Let's get to some Bible study, my friends. Good to be here. I appreciate you guys. Uh, Thursday, well, Wednesday, we started this Wednesday the 6th, right? Uh, at about 11.30, so now we're right in our midnight hour, my friends. Amen. That's right. We're joyful for the Lord. Amen. All right. Let's, uh, let's reel it in and get to some scriptures here, friends. Let's check this out. Uh, amen. As I, like I said, I, I uh, started going through all my old notes, my old study notes and stuff, uh, and uh, found a bunch of really good stuff. So, amen. All right. 
had to get uh, one thing, a couple, well, actually, maybe a couple parts uh, caught up here. Uh, amen. Do you got your notebook tablets with you, friends? I hope so. Amen. And, of course, that's how it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's pull up those monitors. Let's make sure we got them. want to mess that up because every time I try to hit some of this stuff it just changes out uh, amen well I think we're okay here I, I think it's actually working out pretty good and um, <laughs> I'm trying to look at the monitors like I said I've got uh, a pretty uh, good setup here and I, I appreciate having all the equipment uh, pretty awesome so amen so I gotta double check, make sure my volume level is going. Let's get to it, friends. You know I got my rambling time in there. Come on now. You know, I get a little rambling time in there and a little Bible study and some coffee. So let's get to it. Well, fear, friends, is screaming. But the Lord, my friends, but the Lord Jesus Christ is declaring, you have met the divine frontier. Amen. So many of God's people's uh, people, his people, <laughs> will begin to see heavenly glimpses, my friends. So check this out. A really good story, uh, message here. Uh, into the new land. So there has been great or a great swelling or swirling, not swelling, right? We're swelling in the heat, but we're swirling. Uh, <laughs> We're swirling in the spirit, amen. Uh, you know, especially with fear coming against many of God's people, uh, amen. Uh, boy, I almost, <laughs> I almost sneezed. What was that? <laughs> Man, I almost sneezed on that one. All right, I felt the Lord saying that in the spirit of fear has been ferociously coming against many of God's people. And the foreboding and anxiety has been huge. So, and again, these are just kind of uh, dictating from notes that I took while I was in, uh, you know, some of these classes and stuff. Uh, I kind of just wrote them down as I saw them. Uh, so, as I sat with the Lord on this word, I heard the Lord say that fear is screaming, but I am declaring that a divine frontier is being met. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Now, a frontier, the part of a country that borders another country, of course, the, you know, the, I wrote little notes down there, uh, border or boundary. I then heard the words, uh, you, as he says, there is a great, or, or you are, uh, running, amen, you're running to the Lord, amen. So, and as, as it says, the note says, you are escaping, you're coming out of the darkness and into the light, amen. Now, there's a great crossover and a transitioning taking place. Fear has been screaming because you have met the divine frontier of the new land before you, friends. Oh, mercy. Now, I felt the Lord saying that in the next 21 days, well, that's, you know, that was back then. So, uh, <laughs> again, these are pretty old notes, but they're still uh, real important here that we need to uh, hear this. Uh, and many will begin to see heavenly glimpses from the Lord of what is on the horizon. Clarity, right? Amen. Now, a greater look into what he is doing and, and what he's prepared for you in this new land as you begin to move in it, into it. Now, this new land that God's people are moving into uh, as they live surrendered and giving him their yes, friends. Are we giving the Lord his or our yes. Amen. 
All right. Now, these lands are so expansive and so huge and so full, it will feel like being a, a small child walking through uh, a park, right? And I believe I, uh, I said that before or used that before. Amen. Uh, amen. All right. So let me reset that. Amen. So it'll be like uh, a child walking through a park. Very, uh, a lot to see and, and very expansive, very big. So much to see, right? And so much to explore and so much adventure. So much to experience uh, with Jesus. So many firsts and first uh, time experiencing new things. And so much wide-eyed wonder and joy, or joy and wide-eyed wonder, I'd say, right? Uh, amen. All right, now, one season is coming to an end, and a new season, friends, is opening up, right? Now, you're leaving one land, and uh, you have come to the borderline of the land where uh, that uh, you have been toiling uh, in for so long. Amen. Uh, and you are now on the frontier of a new land, or the land you have been toiling in. Let me repeat that. Uh, in has been so hard and has taken so much effort and resources in the contending process. Now, the new land before you uh, contains a whole new level of grace, unearned, undeserved, unmerited. It's a free gift of God, and I better know something about that grace because I studied it for years. Amen. All right, what's going on with the bugs here? Hopefully not bugs, but uh, a gnat or something crawled up on that spot, and that's not good ever. I don't know what we got to do some spraying or something again because uh, I'm getting bombarded with the gnats. Uh, amen. All right, what's going on with my lighting? That's not good. Um, lights, check. We're okay. Amen. All right, let's continue here, friends. Well, uh, and again, you know how, I, how it goes here. Uh, amen. <sighs> Gonna sneeze again. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling here. Um, amen. So, where the land you've been toiling in so long as, uh, let's see, is the frontier of the new land. Again, I'm kind of backtrack where I'm at here. Uh, where the land you have been toiling in has been so hard and has taken so much effort and resources in the contending process, the new land before you contains a whole new level of grace, as I said, unmerited, undeserved, and... It's a free gift of God. It's undeserved, unmerited, un undeserved, unearned. There it is. I know I had to go back over. I'm like, I know what that is. I better, I better make sure I know what it is. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Some grace there. Some free, ga uh, free grace. There will be an overflow and an abundance, church. <coughs> Amen. With so much blessing and fruit, uh, fruitfulness. You will not be able to contain it. That's exciting news, friends, really. All right. Uh, and where is it saying? Yes, indeed. It won't be long, brothers and sisters. Uh, amen. God's decree and we decree it, friends. Uh, things are going to happen so fast. Your head will spin. Mm. It won't be long. Oh, let's see. No, no, no. We, let's go back to the or Go up to the next verse here. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up uh, with everything. It will be happening at once. So, amen. We're going to we're gonna uh, declare it. Amen. And, of course, give me a second here. Let me get this next scripture uh, set for you. Um, amen. Always something. All right. So God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Uh, like I said, your head will spin there. 
Uh, now, one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring up the mountains and hills. Uh, he says, as God decrees it, I'll make everything right again for my people, Israel. You can find uh, your chapter, your verse there in Amos chapter 9, 13 through 15. Uh, amen. Now, the attack of fear that has been ferocious also has a lot to do with us heading towards, again, Rosh Hashanah. But place your eyes not on what the enemy is doing, but on what Jesus is doing. He is preparing you for a new land. He is molding you for a new position. Uh, you will not be overcome. You will not. And we're going to decree it. We're going to claim it and receive it, friends. You will not be overcome by the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, now, this is a new season of promotion. Uh, there has been so much back and forth happening, breakthrough, pressure, opposition, uh, breakthrough, pressure, opposition, right? Uh, and many are asking, why is it taking so long? I know. I want to encourage you, friends, church, brothers and sisters. I want to encourage you right now. Trust Jesus in the process, friends. Trust that he is working all things for your good. And know, or now is the time to run, uh, not the time to run in fear. Now is not the time to rise and fall. Now is the time to stand tall. A glorious divine frontier is before you, friends. Mercy, that is good stuff. Amen. All right, well, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, what do we got? One more maybe. Uh, as we, uh, let's see if I can remember this. I uh, will get, you know, if I could see it anyway. Um, it's a lot of it's so old, uh, friends, that uh, it's, it's kind of tough to read uh, the original print here. So I want to make sure I give you, you know, some good stuff that I can actually read through it. Uh, amen. Well, again, I hope you had a great week so far as we head on into our weekend. It is almost here again, friends. Can you believe that? Uh, amen. Go ahead and see if I can't fix this. And then we'll get into our podcast notes. And then, like I said, we're going to jump right into uh, uh, Joel. Uh, I did. Uh, I do want to go ahead and check that out uh, here for our Bible study. Um, amen. All right. Good enough. Uh, I want to make sure I can read it. Uh, you know what I mean, friends. Uh, it is, it, like I said, it's pretty old, uh, pretty old notes here, uh, and it's it's been tough to kind of be able to actually even study it because I can't read it. Um, amen. So I want to make sure I can get that. Amen. And like I said, it's the word. <laughs> it's pretty faded out. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's get to this one. This is really good. I like this as we enlarge our territory here, friends. Amen. Uh, all right. Uh, it is the season for those who hear me, those who know me and know my heart, those who talk to me, who are intimate with me. That they will awaken from the slumber that uh, circumstances and situations of life, uh, amen, have kept them in, so that they have become almost dull in the hearing of my voice. Now they will awaken, says the Lord, friends. They will awaken, says the Lord. 
uh, and I am stirring up. Again, I read this on the last, uh, I believe the last couple of podcasts, but I wanted to share this with you again. Um, I am stirring up the Watchmen, and they are alert to my call, and they recognize that this season is upon them. The season of change has come, for I have hearkened to the voice of my children who have cried out for restoration. Uh, amen. Who cried out for revival. Who cried out for an awakening. Uh, I am hearkening to their voice, says the Lord. I am stirring up, and I am calling from every corner of this earth. Every avenue of this earth, says the Lord. I am calling and calling forth those who are the heads uh, and appointed by me to come back, come back to their first love. Uh, Amen. Uh, Back to the fire that stirred in their hearts. I am calling the people once again to come and cry out on the behalf of of a lost world that is dying without the light, friends. All right. I am saying to you, uh, brighten up, lighten up, and allow the glory of the Lord um, to uh, be seen through you and in you, friends. Amen. I am calling forth my anointed ones to stand erect and to begin to cry. Cry, cry, he says. Yes, cry before or between the porch and the altar. Cry and wail aloud, says the Lord, and cry again on uh, behalf of a nation who has lost its pillar. Uh, Wail on the behalf of my church that has become complacent, who have loved the world too much. And we again, we see this uh, all the time here, uh, as he says, uh, that it has become complacent and who have loved the world too much that they do not even know that they are lost. And we again, we see a lot of examples of this going on right now, friends. Uh, and uh, boy, do we need to bring it back home, right? We need to bring it back to the Lord and get right. Amen. Uh, amen. Get our hearts right. Get our minds right. Amen. All right. Um, so I am saying to you, cry aloud on their behalf so that those who are mine that call themselves by my name would once again recognize that I am the lover of their soul and I am calling them to holiness, righteousness, and purity to stand upright, to be upright, and to do the right or do right so that many uh, might see my glory and come to this end, uh, the gathering of the souls. For this is your position and your stand. Stand fast, church. Mercy. Stand fast, he says. Stand powerfully and stand loudly and declare that the Lord is coming, and be not afraid of men's faces, uh, not the things that they would say, or for what? Uh, For with cause you stand even in the midst of persecution, or when you stand in the midst of persecution. back where I was at because I forgot here um, I would say with cause or which cause you to stand even in the midst of persecution that there will be many suddenlies coming upon this world suddenlies for good suddenlies for those disasters suddenly for judgment uh, but know this I have hearkened to your cry For years you have cried out. For years you have had my ear. uh, And you have had my attention. And no, I am listening. And now I am hearkening to your cry. And there will be many suddenlies in your life for good. 
Yes, because you have sought my face, uh, know that I am merciful and gracious to you. So allow these suddenlies to turn for your good, but because uh, the world has turned its back on me and loved other gods, there will be suddenlies for judgments as well. Now, they will come and will be swift, and I will be merciful because you have stood in the gap, friends. You stood in the gap and interceded on their behalf. So I, to you, do not give up. Do not let your hands grow weary. Do not get weary in well-doing. For I have heard and I, uh, let's see, I have hearkened it to your prayer and to your cry. Suddenlies are coming, says the Lord. Suddenlies are upon you, says the Lord. And suddenlies are here, says the Spirit of grace. Now, Let's see, these are kind of side notes here. Um, so as he says, and again, I'll kind of have to go through this and see where uh, see where I'm at here, because it's quite scrambled here. Uh, so as it continues here, friends, he says, I have posted watchmen on your walls, Jerusalem. They will never be silent night or day, and you will call on the Lord. Uh, Give yourselves no rest. And I believe that's over in Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6, for that one. Uh, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Boy, I can testify to that. 2 Timothy 3.12 For he, and that's, uh, I've got to fix that too. Uh, for he that soweth to his flesh shall all of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap. If we faint not, in Galatians chapter 6, uh, verse 8 and 9. Amen. Boy, that's good stuff, friends. Amen. All right. Let's see if we can find Galatians real quick. Uh, there it is. Uh, give me a minute here. Let me write this down So uh, just for future references there uh, so I know where exactly it is. And then I can let's see if I can find it here. Oh, give me a minute here. And, um, All right. One, uh, let's see, 10, 10. All right, that's a great scripture there, Galatians 6, 8, and 9. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead, because I do want to do the other ones too. All right, uh, so 6, 8, and 9, friends, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Uh, friends, let's go ahead and just read that real fast here. Amen? I know, I feel like I'm leaning. Am I leaning? I'm going this way here. All right, so let's kind of jump here just a little bit. Let's go to Galatians chapter 6, friends. Let's go ahead and read that. So, brethren, if a man is overtaken in fault, uh, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Uh, But, in verse 4, let every man prove his own work, and then he shall be rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Uh, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. And there it is. That's that key uh, key scripture here, friends. If we faint not, right? 
Uh, okay, so let's go to the next one, verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, uh, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Paul glories in the cross. Ye see how large a letter I have written unto you and with my own hand, or with my own hand, as many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised. Only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. Right? Come on now. Uh, For neither... They themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. But God forbid that I should glory save in the Christ of the Lord, or our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified into me, uh, or unto me, there it is, and I unto the world. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uh, uncircumcision, uh, but a new creature. Amen. But as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy, and upon the uh, upon the Israel of God. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, here's our benediction, brothers and sisters. Uh, Brother, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with your spirits. Amen. All right. Boy, that's that's some good stuff there. Boy, I really like that. All right. Uh, let's get back to our notes, and we are going to go ahead and just jump right into those uh, friends. So let me go ahead and get to them. Amen. And I think I want to go here. I gotta go there, and I gotta go here. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and go back to our original notes there. We're going to go right there on this one. Uh, Amen. And, of course, everything's ripped out here. Oh, boy. Um, Hopefully that's not going to be too bad. All right. Hey, I gotta get some coffee, as I'm just quickly reminded. It's coffee time. Oops, well, that's not good. Good thing I'm not wearing a white shirt, right? <laughs> man, oh, man. Well, let's get into some scripture again here, friends. I want to go to our notes. Uh, the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, of course. Go ahead, and if you you say this with me, friends, uh Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. I know, I was just like jumping there. But if you, you go ahead and say this prayer, go ahead and uh, email me on the uh, on the Ministry Podcast Network there. That's uh, great. Uh, again, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. The official email for the ministry. Amen. All right. Well, I don't have any more tape. <laughs> so... Uh, mercy. I was not, I didn't plan ahead for this. Uh, I, I like the whole page just tore out. So, um, do I got any tape handy? That's what I want to know. Uh, amen. All right. Maybe I can do this one real quick here without losing the rest of the study here. And I'm going to have to do something here real quick, so bear with me, guys. Hold on. I have a little spare tape I can use. Actually, hopefully it'll tear. Hang on. Well, that's not working. Uh, Next. <laughs> Man. Ah, let's just get to it, brothers and sisters. Let's just go ahead and jump right back into it. Uh, dear God, I know I'm a sinner. And I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past and make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. 
And at this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Uh, Please send your Holy Spirit uh, to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. And in Jesus' name, friends, church, come on, brothers and sisters, bring it on. Amen and amen. All right. Well, hopefully I won't lose those two. Um, again. Uh, it looks like all, all three of the pages just ripped out. Oh, really? Man, oh, man. Um, let's see. i got to do something here real quick. Uh, let's see what I can do. Oh, boy. Uh, amen. All right. I have to use a clip. So... And you know, it just did this as I was on the air. I didn't. Even, I looked at it before; it was fine, no problem, right? Right. As soon as I get it, it just tears. So uh, I'm going to do the best I can here, friends, for you. I will try to make sure I don't lose any of my notes here. So again, hold on and bear with me, friends. Let's jump to it. We got the Serenity Prayer uh, this morning here. Now, God. Again, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time and enjoying one moment at a time. Accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Got to get a big amen on that. All right. Well, let's move on over to the Lord's Prayer. You know what time it is, my friends. Uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Church, come on, you know, you know, amen, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen, right? Amen. All right, you know we got to put some armor on, friends, because we're, like I said, uh, fear is screaming, and we are in some heavy-duty uh, spiritual warfare. Uh, boy, with all that stuff going on in the world right now, it is crazy, and we need to hold on to God. We need to buckle up and, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> make sure we got that uh, that airbag, which is Jesus Christ, by the way, uh, our airbag of uh, life and, uh, you know, as, as Jesus uh, has got us, right? He's got a, got a plan for us. Amen. All right, so armor up. Don't want you to get got. Want you to be saved. Let's uh, do this armor here, friends. Uh, amen. All right, and again, if you're just joining us here, friends, you know, I, by the way, I always like to thank the replay viewers, but if you're just joining us this morning, you're live on the air, Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Amen. I know it's a lot, but that's the shortest thing I could come up with. So, amen. Jam-packed, always jam-packed, triple-packed podcast here. Excited to bring the word to you, uh, friends. Uh, again, I, I try to get on here, you know, three or four times a day, maybe more. Sometimes it doesn't happen. I need a day uh, really to kind of set back and, and take care of some things. Uh, as you guys know, I'm renovating a studio here. Uh, we're getting some dirt put in on the uh, yard, the backyard anyway, and a fencing company and the rest of the roofing companies coming in. So a lot of activities. So I may be doing these real late here in the next uh, few weeks just to get some of this stuff done. Uh, as I am just working around, uh, you know, working around the construction, uh, you know, situation. Uh, 
so bear with me you know i'm gonna get on here and like i said i'm trying to step these up to try to do them every day you know four or five times six times a day whatever i can uh but you know like i said we've got uh the restream during the day three o'clock uh and then uh monday wednesday fridays eight o'clock back at melon uh or on melon and then uh with twitch the, the middle one is going to be on twitch three days a week and then about 10.30, or 10, uh, maybe, no, what is it, 10.30? Oh, yeah. So Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, 3 and 10.30, and then the rest of the week, it's going to be 10 o'clock. And then, of course, we've got the weekends at 3, so uh, usually one or two there on the weekend. So kind of pace myself and, uh, you know, not overdo it. But, you know, I don't think you can never have too much of the Lord and too many church services there. Uh, amen. So, like I said, I'm trying to be as, uh, as consistent as possible here. Uh, amen. And, of course, wanting to get back on, uh, track with Melon TV. I just, you know, I get busy and I don't get a chance to get on there. And, uh, so that's, you know, um, let's see. So I think I've got tomorrow afternoon scheduled for three o'clock. Uh, if all goes plan as planned, as God's plan here, you know, we give it to the Lord every day anyway. Uh, but, uh, as, uh, you know, as, as we are, um, you know, I try to, uh, try to get back on here. And like I said, I got to reset and reschedule a whole bunch of podcasts for the next couple of weeks here, uh, on all the channels. So, uh, amen. So thank you guys again for bearing with me here. I do always appreciate you uh, so much. And of course, all the replay viewers and everybody on all the other channels. Amen and amen just because I can and I will. Uh, amen. Right? All right. So what do we got? We got a couple of channels just winding down. We're going to keep rolling. Uh, amen. Got a kind of redo uh the uh tablet there for anchor cast box well we'll let the channels roll out uh, as we get into our well we've been into our <laughs> i think we're almost at an hour here already uh amen for a second service again didn't get a chance to get back on here earlier for the other one i did a real quick update at twitch uh, on the obs file and then uh, so either after this or i'll redo it and do it tomorrow uh i'm not or today actually uh we'll kind of see how things go amen and there's the yawns <laughs> all right friends let's keep going well finally my brother and sisters uh he says to be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood um, right, but against pr uh, principal principalities, tongue twister there, uh, against powers and against rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. All right, there the channels go. Amen. We're going to keep going here, friends. We're going to let that wind down. Uh, and your feet shot of the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Our Bible. Amen. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Well, there you go, friends. Um, all right, well, give me a minute. And let me fix all this. Uh, mercy. All right. So there it is. Uh, amen. Give me a minute. Let me just kind of clean up a couple of things real quick here. And um, let's see what I got going on. Uh, amen. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. 
And again, I hope you guys are doing well. You know, uh, I do. I really appreciate you guys being so patient with me here. Uh, amen. As I uh, go about these podcasts here. Uh, amen. All right. Um, let's see. Well, they got some uh, tin cans, really awesome, and I, I enjoy being on there. It's only, like I said, it's about an hour. Uh, and uh, if they only give me about an hour to be on there, but it's enough. And I've got uh, about 40 people on there now, 40 followers and friends, uh, which is great. So, you know, things are opening up, and I just, you know, <laughs> I'm being patient. Uh, amen. All right, well, <laughs> that didn't work out too well, so let me go ahead and just do that. Uh, you got to put in this, this little bit, bit of a background here, so. Uh, amen. All right, so let me go back in here real quick, friends. Take a quick break. Get your coffee all warmed up for you. Uh, and uh, come on back. We're going to get ready for part two here uh, on this now Thursday morning, April 7th. Hope everybody's doing well. Appreciate you. Uh, so, yeah, take a quick break here. Get your snacks uh, you know, uh, take care of what you need to do, and uh, then we'll get back into part two here. Uh, amen. Uh, live on the air, right back at Mellon. Finally got back on there. Uh, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here on a Thursday morning, bright and early Thursday morning here, friends. Just a little after 12.40 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, live here in Studio A. Good to see you. Good to be here, uh, church. Good to just good to be in the in the presence of the Lord, right? Amen. All right, and for all you guys that are you know all friends and everybody that's right here uh, on the audio part of the podcast, hope you're enjoying the live broadcast here this morning. Like I said, I always like to try to jump on there as best I can and uh, multitask uh, recording. So I've got multiple live video. Uh, channels going on right now, as well as the audio broadcast, and then, of course, all the replay uh, channels as well. So, amen, right? All right, so let me <laughs> let me get this out here. Uh, you guys can just take a quick break here and uh, relax a little bit as we go into our second part, like I said, uh, amen. And, let's see, so Wednesday, I know, uh, let's see, second service there, so that's uh, good. And like I said, if you guys are happen to be on Twitch TV, well, I'm going to get back over there, probably right after this, and do a quick update. i got a few little scriptures I want to share, uh, amen, and uh, get back on there. No, it's been almost two weeks, uh, it's just been, haven't been able to get to it. Uh, and I don't mean to be uh, so far uh, in between podcasts. It's just it's a pretty hectic schedule and a pretty ambitious schedule. I always talk to God about that, and I was asking, Are you sure I can handle this? And same answer every time. So uh, I <laughs> I got to stop asking him because he's going to tell me the same thing. So anyhow, let's uh, get this out here. Uh, amen. Melon TV, pretty awesome channel, uh, very awesome, uh, amen, amen, all right, so that's quick uh, post out here, not too bad, uh, amen, so yeah, a whole, uh, whole lot of changes going on over at Tin Can, um, it's more of a messenger type thing, and uh, but I figured it out how to go live on there. Uh, amen. So that's always good. So actually, we're going to go Joel chapter 2 and 3, I believe, is where we left off with 1. Uh, as I started kind of getting sleepy, I don't know what it was, but something, uh, again, uh, amen, something got me. And, uh, well, I I started drifting off and going to <laughs> get sleepy there. Uh, amen. So... Let me get this. 
And let me go ahead and just pull the mic up here so you guys can still hear me on the other channels. Uh, as I just type out uh, basic information again. Oops, nope, I don't want that. What was I thinking? It's not that. Um, sometimes this thing doesn't work very well, so I have to kind of go to it a little bit more here. All right, so bear with me. Take a break here, friends. Like I said, um, amen. We want to just take a quick break here. Um, and, oops. Try to get this some of this information out here so I can get to my uh, device here, my tablet. Uh, let me uh, try to uh, play. This is not cooperating here. Um, let's see. And basically, I'm just going to type in as much uh, as a little bit of information I can uh, just to clear this up. And of course, you know, like I explained here on, on uh, Anchor CastBox, they put, you have to put the information in and then they make you repeat everything all over again. So it is a bit of a task on this one. Uh, which is not, it's kind of frustrating actually, it's not good, um, and I don't understand why they make you do all that extra work, um, I'm not sure, I, I don't understand that, but, amen, we will, we will get through it, amen, all right, so, All right, so it's kind of winding through. I got the first part of it done, but uh, <laughs> it's it's such a process. I'm like, well, you know, can you just make things a little easier uh, for sure and, and just not complicate it so much because that would be helpful, you know. It, it really would, and it's just so difficult at times. Um, let's see. That's there. Uh, let's see. Let's go there. Amen. So I'm going to let that wind through, and then I'll probably have to go, like I said, go back in there and fix that because it's, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Help me. <laughs> Amen. All right, so back up on the monitors, everything looks good, sounding good. Uh, really, um, you know, really enjoy doing, like I said, I really, what's the word? Uh, I, I'm trying to figure all this out. As long as I've been doing this, it's still kind of a, a challenge for me at times. Uh, I'm surprised that I've retained as much as I have with the podcast and the setup. Uh, but I, and, and like I would say, I know God's training me for a higher, uh, you know, for something bigger. Um, and as I always say, Hey, if I, you know, this is my assignment and I'm good with that. So, uh, amen. As God has completely made a way, uh, and that is, uh, that's just awesome. It's just amazing and, um, really, really good. All right, what is going on with my channel? That's what I want to know. For some reason, it's just doubling up on everything. Uh, amen. So I'm going to sneeze again. I don't know what, what that is. Um, give me a minute here, friends. I'm trying to figure out this what's going on with the channel here. It isn't let me in. Let me in. <laughs> I want to get in here. Um, let's see. I don't get it. Um, see, it kind of doubled up on things. I, I'm not sure why. All right. So let me let's see where I can go. Um. <laughs> It just blanked out on me. It just, it just, my channel just crashed. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's see if we can't do. I might have to just go back. There's another way I could do it, actually, uh, where I can uh, 
go on the main channel on the computer, like on the laptop, and just download it uh, to that. So that is, uh, you know, I kind of figured it out that I can actually do that. So um, if this doesn't, uh, it's kind of a process, but I can actually do that. I can actually go back into the main channel on the, you know, on Anchor CastBox um, on the uh, on the main laptops and uh, just download it from another source and then upload it to the channel. So, uh, you know, the devil just tries to do whatever he can and he just, you know, he don't have, his plan's not very good. <laughs> so, you know, I would say, So, I don't know what I have to do with this one now. Um, it doesn't want to. It don't want to. Let's see. Can't publish it. Huh. Well, uh, that's not good. Let's see. So, we're going to let that go. I think I'll just move on. I got to move on to the next. <laughs> move on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, um, I guess we'll just kind of move along here. There it is on the main page on uh, YouTube. So, all right, well, uh, we're here. You're here, part two. Let's get going. We're going to go right into the, uh, uh, right into, <laughs> my friend is like, what was that? You just squeaked or something. <laughs> I'm like, did I? I was singing. I was just dancing along there, and she said, yeah, but you did it just a high-pitched squeak. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just in the spirit here. Amen? Well, like I said, she she's watching from Japan and, and uh, from Tokyo, and she's like, what are you, do <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I think you got too much coffee. I'm like, come on. Me with too much coffee? Nah, not me, not here. <laughs> so, anyhow, it's the same cup. I just reheat it. Like all the podcasts, people, you guys, you know, not you guys, but a lot of viewers think that I'm drinking massive amounts of coffee. And it's not. It's the actual, it's the same cup. Uh, I just fill up what I don't have. And, you know, I. I just reheat it for each podcast, and it's the same exact cup. I don't, you know, I have extra, but that I'll be drinking the extra back up tomorrow or today uh, for the other podcast. And I sit throughout the whole day, I'd say eight hours uh, sitting here uh, in the studio working on the podcast and setting stuff up. So, you know, I'll, I'll work on it for a couple hours and go lay down and wake back up and have the coffee and, and I'll go broadcast and, uh, you know, do the podcast there and it'll be the same cup of coffee, cold or hot. I, you know, it's, uh, it's about the same. So, um, I don't know, you know, I just gotta, gotta have something there, right? Amen. Can't wait for the for Christmas area or not Christmas uh, area, but uh, Christmas season, fall, eggnog. <laughs> That's on the menu. We're gonna like get extra. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing here, friends? Do we do we know what we're doing this morning? Well, I know we're. I'm waking up with the Lord on my mind and my heart, and uh, well, let's get to it, right? All right, let's get to the notes here. I don't know what's going on with that uh, light out there. All right. Thanks for your patience. Appreciate it. Let's get to it. Joel, chapter 2 and 3 this morning. All right. He says, blow ye the trumpet, friends, uh, in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Uh, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, brethren and sistren, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, 
a great people and a strong. There hath been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoured before them, and uh, behind them a flame burneth. Uh, the Lord or the land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Again, with all the with all the uh, you know the the talk about the uh, the wilderness, and I know I'm in the wilderness test. That's why I got plenty of coffee with me. <laughs> I hope there's Wi-Fi. I don't know. Anyway, let's get reading here. Uh, all right. So, uh, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. In verse three. Now let's go to verse four here. Uh, now, like the noise, or let's see, uh, the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses and a horse, and as horse man. Uh, uh, let's see, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the, uh, the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array before their face. The people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And when they shall fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. And they shall run upon the wall, they shall climb upon the houses, and they shall enter uh, in at the windows like a thief. Now the earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark. And again, that's uh, the blood moons and the... Um, uh, there's something else in there too, but I, was, I forgot my notes there. Uh, the blood moons... Uh, and the uh, eclipses, the solar eclipses there. So when it talks about that, the earth shall quake before them, and the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for life is strong, and executeth his words. Uh, for the day of the Lord is great, and very terrible, and who can abide it? Now, therefore, also now, saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. Uh, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. All right, boy, I feel that sneeze just right there again. So, heads up, sneeze alert, Nile 3. I don't know what that means. Anyway, let's keep, let's keep going here. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him? even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a, a fast, and call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that uh, suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep uh, between the porch and the altar, uh, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Now, God's response and promise in verse 18. And again, friends, we are in Joel 
chapter 2 and 3. Amen. Amen. All right. So I think everything uh, maybe finally uh, is going well here. Uh, amen. Oh, that sneeze. It's coming. It's right there. I, I don't know why always when I get on the air, I mean, like, I'll, I'll be fine. And the second I get on the air, it's like hay fever or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right. So let's go to verse 18 here, uh, friends. And uh, again, bear with me on this. Uh, some of the twitches I have from the from the seizure and all that stuff um, happen. It's still kind of going on. Uh, and I'm trying to work through that. So I'm going to just keep pressing in and, and giving it over to God, friends. All right. Let's get uh, to 18 here. Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied uh, satisfied therewith, and I will be no more, uh, no more make you a reproach among the heathen. But I will remove far off from you the northern army. And will drive uh, in him, let's see, drive him into the uh, land barren and desolate with his face toward the east sea and his hinder parts toward the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he hath done great things. Fear not, O land, uh, be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. And be glad, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you uh, the rain, uh, and the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. All right, there you go. All right. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. In verse 25 here, uh, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and uh, praise the name of the Lord your God for that I have dealt wondrously with you. Amen. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord, he says. Your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed, friends. Amen. That's good stuff right there. Uh, the outpouring of God's Spirit as we go continue here, friends, in verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prof uh, prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirits. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Again, we're going into the blood moons and uh, the solar eclipses there. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion uh, man, uh, and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in uh, the remnant who the Lord shall call. Amen. All right. Chapter 3, Judgments on the Nations. For behold, in those days and in that time shall I bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. 
I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among all nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, or Zidon, in all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? Uh, and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return to your recompense upon your own head? Man, oh man, mercy. Now, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my godly pleasant things the children also of judah and the children of jerusalem have ye sold unto the grecians that ye might remove from far uh, from their border uh, behold i will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabaeans, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together. Round about, thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, says the Lord. Amen. All right. Now, I don't know what's going on. My channel just glitched out on me, and it just flipped to the main part of the uh, screensaver or something like that. I don't know why it just did that. Uh, and I, I think that's kind of intermittently on Melon. I, I don't know. For some reason, it'll, it just kind of glitches out there. So hopefully it'll be okay, and you guys can still see and hear everything. But um, amen. Let me do a sound check. I got to do a sound check. I gotta do a sound check. All right, so good thing I've got my mixer queued up and dialed into that one. Amen. All right, uh, let's see. So let's keep going. We got 14 multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Uh, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened again. Talking about the solar eclipses and the uh, blood moons here in Joel chapter 2 and 3. Uh, and the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Uh, the Lord shall uh, also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Lord, your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through, uh, through her anymore. Now, and it shall come to pass in that day, that the mountain shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and fountains shall come forth out of the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shedem. Uh, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness, for the violence against the children of Judah, uh, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem uh, from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. What a what an interesting set of scriptures there, friends. Amen. So we got uh, Joel chapter 1, 2, and 3. Now, I wanted to go back and make sure we got that. 
Amen. All right. Uh, clipboard. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's on the left side of the uh, wall here in the studio. So uh, it's kind of different having the uh, actually having that panel out of here. I, I took it out uh, just to get some more space in here and I actually have my little table, which I'm getting a second one, another one uh, here that I, I'm actually going to be able to have access, uh, better access to it. So kind of redecorating a bit, you know, just kind of keeping it fresh there for a minute and just making sure I could get some stuff done there. Uh, amen. So Joel 2 through 3. And, of course, we got our opening scriptures, our series, Ear to Hear. Um, What do we got on the menu, my friends? Amen. All right. And, again, it's glitching. I, I don't know what it is. Why is that doing that? Inquiring minds want to know. Why is it glitching? What's up with uh, what's up with Melon? It's no wonder maybe that's the reason why I don't go on here as often. Uh, amen. All right, let's get to some scriptures, shall we? Um, yeah, I don't know why. I'm not sure why why that's acting like that, but hopefully it'll be okay. Maybe it just flashes through. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, Luke, friends. Let's go to the book of Luke. Um, let's see. Back here. And we want 18 and 19, friends. We're just going to read a few more scriptures here. We've got, well, we're already, like I said, over an hour and a half, so, uh, we've got uh, about 15, 20 minutes on the, or, uh, Block Talk Radio there. Amen. All right. Amen. Boy, them yawns are coming up again. I, you know, we're just a little after 1 a.m. here, uh, friends. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, a lot of work in here. A lot of work setting these up here. So, I always appreciate it, though. You know, it's kind of a challenge, but uh, I always appreciate it. I'm always glad I get to do it. You know, it's just awesome and just uh, amazing here that I, as I was talking with Pastor Ryan on Monday, uh, what a, uh, you know, it's, it's like in the flesh, it's really, really tough. But, you know, as we are called to preach and called to share this message, uh, friends, we, we just got to give glory to God and let him, you know, uh, get us through. So, and, and again, you know, you guys know, um, the intention of this channel is to podcast daily, every day, live podcast a couple of times a day here, uh, one in the afternoon on Restream TV, and then another late night service or night service here between 10 and 10.30. Um, but again, with all the other interference and everything going on, I don't get a chance to get on here uh, as scheduled. So uh, I'm trying to pick that up. I'm trying to, you know, just keep, uh, you know, pushing through. Uh, to do that, so, amen, that's why I'm on here again, I just had to get back on milling, I, I miss being on here, all right, Luke 18 and 19, friends, let's go ahead and do that, we'll put that uh, over here, uh, amen, hopefully it's not too loud for you, I got a little, uh, like a little board I, I nailed into my table here, so I can actually lean the uh, the clipboard here on this side, so I can actually access it better, uh, amen. All right, I think everything. Mercy. Man, I'm starting to get sleepy here. Um, amen. All right, got something in my eyes. I think the sun got in my eyes. I don't know. Amen. <laughs> well. Like I said, I appreciate you guys putting up with all this. You know, I'm doing the best I can here. I wanted to just get get back on here and, and do some preaching, do some Bible study. Um, you know, always, like I said, I always appreciate you guys so much. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're tuning into the channel and subscribing here. That's just a blessing. And, you know, and uh, as I said, more channels are popping up. I just got an invite yesterday from Wisdom. Uh, podcast channel and that's uh, just amazing uh, so you guys can find that just look it up wisdom podcast 
uh, and I'll post the links on the channels here. And don't forget, I'm still on Verbal.com. Uh, and uh, what we got? Uh, quite a bit. So all your fabulous podcast catcher, podcast channels worldwide. I just look it up. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, friends. And there I be. Amen. All right, what do we got? 18 in the book, 18 and 19 actually in the book of Luke here. So let's get to that. Uh, a parable of the unjust judge, again, Luke 18 and 19. Now, and he spake a parable unto them, this, this end that man ought, or men ought, uh, always to pray and not to faint. Words of wisdom there, friends. Now, saying there was in the city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And, let me get to that up there. All right. Uh, and came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. So he's talking about a widow there. So let's get back to that part in verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. So let's continue here. Uh, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, uh, nor regard man, yet because of the widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her uh, continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said... Uh, hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? And though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Now, the parable of the Pharisee and the publican. And, friends, we're in Luke 18 and 19 this morning. All right. And he spake this parable unto certain, which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Now, two men went up into the temple to pray, and one a Pharisee and the other a publican. And the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not, as the other men uh, are, extortioners, unjust adulterers, and even as this publican. I fast twice in the week and give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar on, uh, or see, afar on, would not lift up uh, so much as his eyes unto heaven but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to, uh, to his house, justified rather than the other, uh, for every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. All right, now Jesus receives children. And they brought unto him also infant, uh, infants, and that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked him. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer uh, little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Now the rich young ruler, and a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Now watch this, friends. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one that is God. Now, <clears throat> there it is. Um, amen. All right. Sorry about that, friends. Um, thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. 
honor thy mother and thy father. And he said, All these have I kept from my youth up. Now when Jesus heard these things and said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing. Uh, Sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, and he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God, friends. Amen. All right. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I said unto you, There is no man that hath left house or parents or brother or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Now, who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting? And of course, we're talking about the New Jerusalem and Revelation fronts. Now, Jesus foretells his passion. Uh, Then he took uh, unto him the twelve and said unto them, Behold, We go up to Jerusalem uh, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man uh, shall be accomplished. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles and shall be mocked and spitefully entreated and spitted on. And they shall scourge him and put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. And they understood none of these things, and the saying was hid with them, or from them, that they, uh, the things which were spoken. Now Jesus heals a blind man. And it came to pass that as he was come nigh to Jericho, a certain blind man uh, that sat by the uh, wayside begging and hearing Uh, the multitude pass uh, by uh, and ask what it meant. And they said, or they told him uh, that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. All right. I know, and some of us are, you know, in, in some point in our life, we, uh, we were like that. We, as Jesus, you know, was, passing by us, you know, as we said, uh, Jesus, have mercy on us. Amen. All right, let me fix this mess here. All right, so thank you guys for joining me this morning. You're live on the air a little after 1 at 26 a.m. Anyway, uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, you're live on the air, precious friends. Thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, as we read the Bible scriptures here. Uh, Amen. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. We're continuing. We got Luke, friends. We're reading the story of Luke chapter 18 and 19 this morning, live on our Melon TV channel. I had to go back on that. I was missing that, uh, friends. So thank you guys for hanging out and getting the Bible here this morning. Uh, As I said, fill her up. Give me the Lord. I need a premium. <laughs> you been or something like that. You know, come on now. All right. I need a full fill up of the Lord. Amen. All right. Let's go to verse 39 here in the verse uh, or chapter, what is it, 18 here. And then we'll go into 19 uh, in the book of Luke, friends. You're live on the air. Good to see you. Uh, amen. On this early Thursday, right? And... As we proceed, I know you're waiting to you're waiting to get to it, right? I know. <laughs> they, all right. Let's get to thirty nine eventually here, right? Uh, and they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace, but he cried so much the more, 
Thou, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? Oh, and he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith have saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people. When they saw it, gave praise unto God. All right. Let's go ahead and move right on over to chapter 19 this morning in uh, the book of Luke. Jesus and Zacchaeus. And again, I'm reading out of the King James here, friends. So we're winding down our blog talk radio, but we're going to keep the cameras rolling here. Uh, this morning. Amen. All right. Uh, and again, thank you guys on Blog Talk Radio for hanging out with us this morning. Appreciate it. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here. Uh, amen. So we're going to keep rolling. We've got a, a little bit more to cover, probably close to the two hour mark again uh, this morning. So I'll give you a, a, a double uh, podcast here. Uh, amen. All right. And try to fix that mess there. Amen. All right. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Let's get to it. Chapter 19, Jesus and Zacchaeus. Now, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was uh, and could not for the press because of uh, he was a little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up to the sycamore tree to see him, and he, uh, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to, to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. Uh, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that uh, he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Well, Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I have I give to the poor, and I have taken uh, I have taken anything from any man by false accusation. I restore him uh, for uh, what is he said um, fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation uh, is salvation come to this house, for as much as he is a, a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Now, the parable of the ten pounds. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. And he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. Amen. Luke 19, a little bit of verses here. We're going to get through this one. Now, and he called the ten servants and delivered them ten pounds. And he said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and uh, sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, that he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto them, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful uh, in a very little, 
have the authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, there is thy pound, or here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. And that's the same, kind of the same parable as it says in the other one uh, with the good stewards, right? So this is kind of right there with it. For I feared thee, because thou art an astute man, thou takest up, but thou laidest not down, and reapest thou that uh, didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servants. Thou knewest that I was an astute man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Where... For then gave us not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it him that hath ten pounds. Uh, for I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, uh, even he that shall be taken from him for those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me now Jesus enters Jerusalem and when he had thus spoken he went before ascending up to Jerusalem and it came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethaji or is that yeah, Bethaji and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent out or two of his disciples, saying, "Go ye into the village over against you, in the uh, in the which at your entering, and uh, he shall find a colt, or ye shall find a colt, tied, whereon yet uh, let's see yet." Never man sat. Loose him and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, Why do you loose him? Um, thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And that they, uh, that, they uh, that were sent went their way and found even as he had uh, said unto him. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, Why loose ye the colt? And they said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments into the colt, and they sat, uh, or they sat Jesus thereon. And you see, you know this uh, scenario here, friends. You know the scene that, that's happening with this. Amen. Oh, I got a, a pop up that just came on my screen here, so I got to make sure I take care of that. Well, good to see you this morning, uh, you guys. We're just reading some scriptures here. Uh, amen. In the book of uh, Luke 19 now. Uh, so let's keep going. We've got uh, verse 33 as they uh, were loosening the cult, the owners thereof, uh, sad. Unto them, why loose ye the colt? And again, in verse 34, the Lord said, The Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they sat Jesus therein. Uh, amen. Now, and as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now in the descent, uh, of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. Now, here we go, friends. Say that to the mountaintops. Shout it to the mountaintops, uh, church, this morning. Amen. Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, the glory, or, or let's see, and glory in the highest. Amen. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, 
rebuke thy disciple. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would be immediately uh, would immediately cry out. And Jesus weeps over Jerusalem. Mercy, friends. All right. And when he come near, he uh, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this uh, this thy day, uh, the things which belong unto thy peace. But now they are laid from thine eyes, for the days shall come upon thee that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee and compass uh, the uh, round and keep thee in on every uh, side and shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee and they shall not leave in thee one uh, stone upon another uh, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. Uh, now the cleansing of the temple. And when he uh, went into the temple and began to cast them out, or cast them out that sold thereon, and them that bought, and saying unto, him, unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And he taught daily in the temple, and the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people uh, sought to destroy him. And he could not find what they might do, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. Amen. And that's how we got to be. We got to be attentive to the word of the Lord, friends. Amen. All right. So there you go. A little bit of something, something for y'all this morning. Good to see you. Good to be here. And we've got Luke 18. So uh, we're actually going to go over to, uh, and I'm not quite sure where we're where we're going to end at. Um, we got so much here. Um, amen. I don't know. I never know what I don't know. <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever that is. I don't know. Amen. All I know is it's good to be here with you, my friends. It's good to be here this morning, bright and early. Uh, amen. Well, I did manage a few hours of sleep. Not much, but, uh, you know, maybe a couple, two, three. I don't know, but uh, that's how it goes. Amen. All right, so yeah, Revelation. We're going to scoot on over to the back of the Bible here. We're going to look at Revelation 20 through 22, and that's going to be part two here. Uh, Amen. Double-checking the timing there. Amen. Oh. Mercy, my friends. Good to be here. Good to be in the house of the Lord, my friends. Church is on. Tell the devil to keep scooting, right? Get behind me, Satan. No, no, you're not going to be spending time here, not in this house. As Miss Jackie says, boom, there it is, sister. Not today, not tonight, not never, not tomorrow, not ever. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, oh, mercy, come on now. Uh, All right, so we've got to go into the mighty book, the powerful book of Revelation, chapter 20 through 22. Uh, Amen. As we talk about the first and second deaths, the first and second books, the book of of life and the Lamb's book of life, friends. Uh, Let's get to it. Chapter 20 in the book of Revelation this morning. Now, and as he said, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, uh, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up, set a seal upon him, and that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. 
and after that he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and the judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that uh, were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast. Uh, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads uh, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Uh, but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. And this, in, again, is the first resurrection, friends. And we'll probably, uh, most likely here, friends, I'll probably just close out with uh, 20 through 22, We'll save the rest of that for the next broadcast uh, coming up here later today. Uh, amen. So that'll be part one. Uh, and then, we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll just save that out uh, for the next broadcast. Amen. And I still haven't got a chance to get through my notes here, so uh, I'll be up for a while. Uh, amen. So, let me fix the bats. And, like I said, we're just going to close out with this. I think a you know, good couple hours uh, church service is great. Uh, amen. And I'm going to fix a couple of things. But I, I think we'll be okay here, uh, friends. I think what we'll, we'll do is we'll go ahead and just close out with uh, Revelation um, and then, like I said, we'll just jump, uh, we'll, I'll move this to the next broadcast and we'll, we'll have lots of, lots of scriptures for us on today's Bible study. Uh, amen. And then I got a, uh, live, like I said, a live update Bible study, just a little bit, not much, about four or five scriptures, uh, after this one, uh, I'm going to reset, uh, Twitch TV for this morning. Uh, just because I'm already up, and I may as well you know, give a, another update here uh, with a, a few scriptures. So, uh, amen. Amen. All right. Hang on here, friends. I'm just trying to do a quick couple of updates. And uh, make sure I get that straightened out so I don't have to worry about that. And then we'll continue as we talk about uh, Revelation 20 uh, through 22. So I want to make sure we got that done. Amen. All right. Now bear with me, you guys. Again, just give me a few minutes here and let me go ahead and get this caught up and then we'll continue. And like I said, you know, I I have so much here, friends. It's just amazing uh, how much, uh, you know, uh, I've got. So pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, amen. And uh, let me get this together for you. All right, well, church, give me a minute. Like I said, just just bear with me here. I'm getting this uh, the information here for you. Amen. Well, that looks good to me. I'm going to call it good there. Amen. So, again, we're reading uh, Revelation 20, and we're just going to go through 20, 21 to 22 here. Amen. All right. And where did we leave off at? Um, let's see. So let's go to verse 5. Let's pick up right there. And now in Revelation 20. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. And again, this is the first resurrection. Now, blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. 
Uh, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ that shall re, uh, reign with him a thousand years. That's awesome, right? To reign a thousand years. Now, when a thousand years were expired, or are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to the sea of the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth. Now, we're talking about Gog and Magog here, friends. Uh, amen. To gather them together to battle, the number of whom is uh, as the sand of the sea. And they went up in the breadth of the earth and comp uh, compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Uh, similar to Sodom and Gomorrah, friends. If you think about that, that similarity is right there, uh, right? Uh, amen. Now, uh, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Now, the judgment of the great white throne. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened. You notice how he says, plural, the books were open, friends. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things, and which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. Now, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Now, this is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in, uh, written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. All right, give me a second there. Amen. All right. Now, chapter 21 in the book of Revelations here, friends. Now, the new heaven and the new earth, as I've uh, talked about here before. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. Uh, the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Uh from the flood, right? Uh, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God, now here's the coolest part of this verse here, friends. Uh, if you haven't saw it, if you haven't had a chance to look at it, go look it up. Chapter 21 uh, in the book of Revelation, uh, right here in verse 4. Now, when I read this to my, my mom who passed away years ago, uh, I shared the scripture with her. And boy, did her eyes just light up. It was the best feeling I've ever seen uh, in life. And, of course, then just a few short years later, my mom passed away. Uh, and, uh, you know, but I remember this verse very, very well as I read that out loud to her. Um, and I knew that she was at peace, finally, after years of, uh, of pain and anguish and uh, really uh, tough times, uh, friends. So, uh, again, I, I shared the scripture uh, with them and uh, or with her, and uh, it just really just popped into memory here uh, as I share that with you. So, in verse 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, no crying, neither shall there be any more pain, 
for the former things are passed away. And that should just give us peace and comfort right there, friends. Nothing to worry, right? No worries. Let's just uh, let that uh, just let that verse uh, marinate in your hearts, my friends. Uh, and, and, you know, the little trivial things that happen here. Now, they may be big. You know, that that's a big situation going on. But just think about that, friends. Oh, man. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end I will give unto them uh, that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Clearly two uh, parts of this. Now, the New Jerusalem. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven veils, or vials, full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee uh, the bride, the lamb's wife. Uh, and he carried me away in the spirit to uh, a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Uh, and at a great wall and high and had twelve gates, and the gates twelve angels, and the names of them therein, or thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. And in the south, three gates. And, of course, on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had uh, twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, um, and the length is as uh, large as the breadth. And he measured the city for, uh, with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of man that is of the angel. And the building of the wall is uh, of it as were a jasper. And the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall and the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. Uh, the first foundation was a jasper, the second sapphire, the third a caldani. Uh, the fourth, an emerald, the fifth, sardonyx, and the sixth, sardius, uh, and the seventh, chrysolite, the eighth, beryl, the ninth, the topaz, and the tenth, uh, chrysopolis. Now, that's quite descriptive of uh, what's going on there, right? On uh, the eleventh, the Jason, and the twelve, an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every, uh, every several gate was of one pearl. The street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb of the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor. 
um, into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut up at all by the day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and the honor of nations into it. And there shall be no wise enter to anything that defileth, uh, neither whithersoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Again, there's a second book of life, friends. So if you happen to be curious and looking it up, there you go. All right, chapter 22, and I think we'll go ahead and close out uh, this Bible study here, friends. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the streets of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and uh, the no need of candle, and neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And again, pretty cool stuff going on there, right? Now Christ is come soon, is to come soon. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets uh, sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must come or, or shortly be done. And behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, again, that's our key scripture, key verse right there, uh, friends, right there in the book of Revelation chapter 22. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And I heard, uh, when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. And then said unto me, See thou do it not, that I am, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, uh, friends, worship God. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. All right, got to fix a couple of spots in here I missed. Now, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Uh, he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with him to give every man uh, according as his work should be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, and they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city, and without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers uh, and murderers and idolaters, and whosoever loveth, uh, and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify. Amen. Right there. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify with, unto you these things, which in the churches I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit of the bride say, Come, and let him that hear say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that beareth uh, or heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, uh, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, shall take away, or God shall take away his part out of the book of life, 
and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Uh, amen. Even so, uh, uh, come, Lord Jesus. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Well, boy, powerful in the word of God this morning, friends. Uh, I had to get back in there. I, I needed to get back into uh, the book of Revelation uh, 20, 21 and 22 uh, again. So, um, <laughs> amen. Well, there you go. 2 a.m. What are you doing up this morning, my friends? I'm glad to see you. Glad to be here, of course, on our Melon TV network. Um, all right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I, I got a quick break here, get a couple of things taken care of. And then, of course, on to the next update over at Twitch TV, friends. Uh, moving right along, right? Amen. Amen. So, I have to work on that again. All right. Lots of work. I'm telling you, friends, it never ends, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, so... I will get this done. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, there it is. So I kind of get that uh, kind of worked out. And I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Um, boy, oh boy, lots of stuff to do here. Um, Amen. So, that's, uh, let's see, this is going to be our Thursday podcast today, this afternoon. Now, it should be at 3 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to take a rest. I'm going to kind of break a little bit here, maybe 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Or, well, it's after 2 now. Uh, but uh, sometime, either first thing in the morning, I'm going to jump on Twitch. Now, sometime in the next few hours, I, I never know. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure when I'll get on there, but I am, I am going to do something next here. So it is the seventh, um, man, oh man, time's flying, my friends, um, amazing. So like I said, it should be three o'clock. Uh, I think I'm going to target that time frame at about three o'clock this afternoon back here again. But uh, we're going to be on Restream TV again. I'm going to make sure uh, I get back on there. So um, trying to, you know, kind of keep track of everything and, and make sure I, I get back on track here uh, for sure. So amen. Amen. All right. Just wrapping it up. I get a few little notes together for, uh, for myself. That way I won't have to worry about it on the next one. Um just to kind of make sure I get things done here. You know, we got to be good stewards of God's manifold, uh, the, the manifold, uh, what was it? The, the manifold something of God or something like that. I got to make sure I stay on track here. Uh, amen. All right. So just a couple of quick notes here, friends, and then I'm going to go ahead and close out. I uh, always appreciate you guys so much. And, like I said, uh, it is good to be back on here again. And, uh, let's see. So, we wrapped up our first hour over on uh, Tin Can and Anchor Cast Box. Um, amen. Jump on over to our monitors, double checking everything here. We want to make sure we're good there. Um, I'm going to jump on LinkedIn real quick, make sure that uh, it's clear there and everything's good there. Uh, amen. That's pretty amazing. Almost 300 uh, friends there. Um, and so I have to figure this out, what's going on here. Um, it still didn't post to... Um, it still didn't post up to uh, our friends over on there. So 
I'll have to kind of go back over and double check our connections there. Huh. I guess it's kind of a kind of a slow response, so I'll have to kind of figure that out. Figure what's going on with us. Um, amen. All right, that's good enough. Um, all right, friends, that's it. It's it's a wrap. We're gonna uh, just close it uh, close it with this. Um, amen. Let's see. All right, let me go to my notes because I do want to uh, go ahead and just double check on something here. Um, amen. Now, this is going to be a real long Bible study. I can tell. Uh, I'll have to go back in and double check it. But uh, we're going to look at Luke chapter 1. Uh, and I think we're going to go, now there's 80 verses in that. Last time I checked, there was 80 verses in this. Uh, so we are going to check it out. Uh, I'm taking it off the uh, updated Melon, or Twitch TV, because, boy, that's a lot of reading. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. So, But, you know, we, we'll spend the first part of the podcast, and we'll go into that. So... Uh, amen. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna do there. Uh, boy, oh boy, that is a long, long scripture. Of course, uh, amen. All right. And all right. Oh, I already got that. Never mind. I'm looking at my notes. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I get that or did I write that down already? Uh, is that there? It is. It is. Uh, amen. All right. Well, that's good enough. We'll, we'll I'll take care of that later. All right, folks. That's it. I'm out of here. Got a quick update over at Twitch TV. We want to get that taken care of. Uh, and I should be back here, like I said, uh, pending on what's going on. Got a busy day, lots of stuff going on, a lot of shopping, a lot of cleanup and stuff. I got, a, I think, a couple of truckloads of dirt and rock coming in, <laughs> so uh, we're trying to make the grounds, uh, you know, uh, for the VIP parking and all that, we're trying to get rid of the, uh, the thorn and all that, so... Uh, anyway, that's it for me. Let me get to Blog Talk Radio. You did swell tonight and earlier. That's awesome. Uh, friends, that's it for me. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here. Uh, again, preaching the good news gospel, friends of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen, friends. Uh, you guys on the other channels, give me a minute and hold on. Amen. All right. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Let me get to the other one. All right. Boom. So funny. My friends watching on the monitor and uh, through the audio and the uh, uh, and the uh, video part. She watched it on YouTube in Tokyo, and she said, "Why did you do that high squeak for?" I said, "I didn't realize I did a high a high squeak." She said, "You did." What was that for? <laughs> what are you doing that for? I don't know. It just comes out. You know, you just get excited about the word and just glad to be here, uh, friends. And, you know, get a little bit of sleep, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of rest. You, you, you kind of get hyped, uh, friends, as I was saying. Hey, you got to get hyped for the Lord. Uh, amen. Alrighty, so that's that one, and again, a little bit of resetting to do, that's alright, I'll, I'll take care of that a little bit here, uh, not a lot, but I will, uh, amen, there's the church, uh, friends, so Spreaker, I'll see you on the next broadcast, take care of you guys, brothers and sisters, glad to see you, glad to be here, have a great rest of your night, and I know I gave you a lot of a lot of scriptures to read tonight uh, for, you know, how we guys you got to do it. So I always appreciate that. Uh, have a good night, friends. Spreaker.
I'll see you in the next one. And channel two, hold that thought. Amen. All right. There it is, you guys. Hold that thought for a second here. Uh, amen. All right. Let's go over to our main channel. And that's it, you guys. I'll uh, Just take care, and I'll see you very soon on the next broadcast. Pastor Rich, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Hope everything uh, looked okay here. You know, I always kind of battle uh, the the all the setup here, every podcast. I don't know why, but have an issue with it. So, anyway, get some sleep. I'll see you in the next broadcast, friends, a little after 2 a.m., uh, again, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast Network, Pastor Rick here. Good to see you guys. Melon TV Live and more, friends. Stay in the Word of God. Amen. I'll see you soon, friends. Take care. And Spricker, you guys hold that thought. I'll be closing out our Melon TV, friends. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. All right, there it is, and I don't know how long that uh, is, but I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> it's uh, interesting here. Uh, we got to see what we got to do here, so give me a minute here, friends. Let me check this out. Uh, there it is. All right, great, 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 great. Amen. Um, all right. So bear with me. We're still on the air, you guys. Give me a minute here. Let me figure this out. Uh, amen. And uh, leave the studio. That's what we're doing here, friends. All right. That's a wrap. Amen. And we're going to go back into our live channel and uh, pop that one back up. Uh, amen. Boy, there's so much to do. Uh Right, uh, boy, that's awesome, and uh, amen. Give me a minute here. All right, there it is. All right, forgot you guys run. Hey, there you go. All right, see you soon, friends.